We could do this by time lapse, but instead. Okay. This is the lid to the cooler. And it, so it just sat on it like that, and then you could lift this half up, and it had a, enough of a lip on this side to hold it steady. Um, it got, it's, was made up of a lamination of a couple different pieces, and it looks like it's gotten wet or otherwise pretty abused, and it's coming apart in a couple places. So I'm gonna take it apart and re-glue the pieces that, are come un that have come undone and then refinish it. So first thing to do is to take off this piano hinge here. So that's that half undone. This half, this feels like it is splitting here, and you can see that it's separating there. But it's screwed to this piece here, which is a solid piece. So I, I'm gonna undo these four screws, and I expect at least one or two of these to come undone when I do that, where it's failed. Washer, these washers are just, or appearance washers, or finish washers, or, or I forget what they're called, um, but whoever varnished this last, if not the first time, installed the screws and then varnished over them, so I'm going to chip these off and clean them up some before I put them back on. Luckily that wasn't glued on, so it'll make this job a little bit easier. Yeah, so this this joint, which was not, didn't have the other piece screwed onto, onto it, onto it, looks like someone at some point did go in and try and re-glue that. So I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. This other one is much cleaner, so it was broken, but no one it had failed, but no one tried to fix it yet, which makes my job a little bit easier. I'm gonna use some 80 grit because I think I want to make sure I leave enough tooth for the glue to bond to. I like these clamps because the clamping part goes almost all the way down to the bar. So when I'm doing something like this, I can clamp it this way on these and then push it up against the bar with another set of clamps to make sure it stays flat. <coughs> so let's go ahead and get this set up. This is, this is just normal wood glue. Um, I'm not even sure if this is teak. I think if you're if you're doing if you're using teak, especially if you're using new teak, you have to be a little bit careful because it's such an oily wood. Um, but I'm going to go with this and see if it works. There's probably something a lot fancier you can use in this, but oh well. Thickened epoxy would probably work great, but I don't have any of that yet, so. Do this right, you probably this probably should have had um, biscuits in it or something to keep these lined up better, even more glowing surface. 
and where I'm making it a total new one, I probably would do something like that. But I'm just repairing this, so I'm not going to bother. I've got this all clamped down. It it's all lined up reasonably well. Um, so now we just got to wait for the glue to dry and see how it goes. Probably workable. There's a pretty bad gap right there that I'm not too happy about. That it was mostly due to my poor sanding. So I'll have to figure out something to do with that. This other one I cleaned up a little bit better, so hopefully when I glue this one it will be easier to get together. with that so we'll let that one dry. Okay so I've got these two pieces all glued up. Uh, the second one I did turned out much straighter than the first one. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. This first one had a bit of a, a bend to it um, and it was a little thicker at the edges and the inside too so I'm gonna clean this edge up a little bit with a plane so that when I put this piece of wood back on there's be, gonna be a little bit less of a gap between the two. You can just kind of see it right there. So it's already, I've already cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to do it a little more just to clean it up a little more. Okay, so I worked on that a little bit and I got that flat enough that I'm pretty happy with that. I'm comfortable with how tight those two fit now. So I just have to clean up a little bit of the glue mess is on the back side of this and take all this old finish off so it's ready for more varnish. Okay, so I have these sanded down um, all the way up through 400 grit um, on the parts I'm going to finish. This section right here and the back side of this I only took to about 80 because I'm going to glue these and I want to make sure that there's enough um, tooth on that so that the glue um, has something to hold on to. Um, I'm gonna, these were not originally glued. I want to glue them because I don't want moisture to get in between the two of them, so I'm going to glue them and then when I varnish them, I'm going to get a nice good seal all the way around there. Is still just a bit of a of a bow to one of these boards so I am going to clamp the middle once I glue it just to make sure I get a good contact all the way across that. I'm using copies of the Rhode Island Times or this is the Cranston Herald. Um, their packing material from anything you get from uh, 
total boat. Comes with a local paper used for packing material. I like to keep up with what's happening back in 2019 in Rhode Island. Pretty heavy with the glue, so I'm expecting quite a bit of squeeze out. These wooden clamps are great because if you do it just right, you can get a nice even clamp across your entire piece. I'm quite sure there's a trick to doing it right, but I don't know what it is. So I'll just do that. What I have here is I have the two halves of the the lid to the cooler clamped together. I've taped everywhere that I'm I don't want bonded with tape, so that when the squeeze when there's squeeze out, it doesn't get on the wood. Uh, it's a bit of overkill here, but it's something that I've seen them do. Um, people that are installing C windows with Cicaflex with black caulk or something like that to keep it from getting on the caulk when this when there's squeeze out, and then you clean it up and pull the tape off, ideally before everything dries. Okay, so I've got this all glued up, uh, got all the tape off, got all the clamps, the screws. I'm uh, just going to do a little bit of cleanup uh, with some sandpaper, make sure that I got everything ready for varnish. So the two halves of the cooler lid are all varnished, all, all the sides are sealed and varnished, everything's ready to put back together again. I've cleaned off most of the hardware, most of the hardware had some amount of varnish on it from someone previously tried to re-varnish it and, and just varnished over everything. So I've cleaned it off as best I can, scrubbed off the hinge, it's reasonably shiny and pretty now, you can see much anyway. It is. So now we just gonna have to reassemble it. Just to make sure I get this just right, in this case the hinge goes up so that when you open the cooler blade, it opens thusly. So on a line like this, the hinge should be fully open. That's not bad though. If I'm, when I'm able to get to the hardware store, I may go out and add a little bit, bit of gasket to this around here where it sits on the top of the cooler just to give it a little bit better seal there but there you go that's ready to go back in the boat 